Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I want to go ahead and explain Wilson's Endgame slash there. I'm just going to call it a, I don't know, it's not really a housing system, but I don't exactly know what to call it. So let's just call it the Stormfall Palace. So after you complete Act 3 and you kill the last boss, you're going to be prompted with this screen. And many players just don't really know what to do and don't really understand it. So I want to break it down super simply. Basically, this building in the top right over here is is going to be the center of where it all starts. So if you notice this little green dot by it, it means you've already done it. So this is your general productivity increase. By unlocking these, you're going to have a base amount of productivity, which you're going to need to unlock every other building inside this area. So I try to like kind of evenly distribute my money between this and the other ones. Essentially, if you notice your content that your stuff is slowing down, then you want to aim more towards this. So what I've noticed is after after you have obviously this basic stuff set up, uh, what you need to do is you want to look at things you want to aim and focus towards. So a lot of people like doing seekers because this is pretty much always gold find right over here. Um, if you notice, th these are random every time. I believe every turn it changes. Um, you have things like the Stormfall Trade Assembly. I personally really like. This gives you a large amount of primordial affinity and it randomizes what it is but like usually it's always a significant amount more than what you're paying for uh, sometimes the guys return and fail which is kind of shit but basically that's pretty much what you're going to be doing is you're going to look through these buildings and figure out what you want to do so for example i unlocked my fifth skill slot from this top one here i unlocked the permanent magic find bonus or gold find bonus down here um, i unlocked a shipyard to see what happened and i don't think anything happened yet there is a way you can fight like uber bosses, I believe, down over here, but somewhere somewhere here, something is bugged, and I'm not really sure. Supposedly, if you like unlock something, it can literally break your game, and, and I don't really know how good that is. So you might want to stay away from the dark market, but I'm not necessarily sure. So after you have you know picked up whatever it is that you want, you'll notice you have active projects. When you run the mandates and the expeditions, it will it will basically give you productivity multiplied off of your base productivity so the more dangerous the map is or the more sorry the more modifiers you add the more you're going to get so i'm just going to go run a quick mandate as an example here don't mind my build it's kind of scuffed because crit ailments don't work so i had to respect and uh, well it's just not exactly the best at the moment this is just kill elder morian part of these things here we go Elder Morian, where are you? Another fee falls. One nice thing about the system, <clears throat> albeit it still needs some work because of the bugs, but one nice thing about this is that if you're leveling a new character, you can start doing these mandates right away. It is kind of imbalanced, so I'd recommend having some gear or just kind of having a direction of where you want to go first because you're going to die a lot. But <clears throat> your other character gains the benefit of all the productivity you've researched on your main because they share the same system. So that's kind of unique. Um, that's kind of one sort of cool thing. Okay, so now that that's complete, basically go inside here, and then you won't be able to do anything until you press the end hotkey, so when you, or sorry, you click this. So once you click this, you get your award. You see the productivity that's been applied. So this is where you can see where it comes from. So I have the base productivity, I didn't die, so 20%, monsters killed, etc. Temporary productivity boost. I hit OK. Then, whatever was finished over here, you can see it gives an even amount of 534 to everything. It doesn't split it. Um, then here, like you can see, I got 16k and 500 primordial essence. This was only a 3k one. 
Uh, this can happen randomly. This is pretty cool. I think every time a turn happens, so anytime you come back from an adventure, you have a chance of finding a map. And I don't believe this has to, anything to do with your active projects. I think this is just part of the system. I usually take Wealth Omens if I can find Wealth Omens, uh, which I could not because Wealth Omens give a lot of money. Um, those are basically like the little treasure goblins. I'll just take chests. Okay, and then you pretty much will just keep on doing this and doing this and doing this until you are done playing the game, basically. So the, the difference between the mandates and the expeditions is to explain the expeditions real fast. Um, you have Adept, which I don't remember exactly how to unlock Veteran right off the top of my head. I honestly was just playing the game on Adept and then somehow Veteran unlocked. I don't know if it's because I unlocked it on the... The Stormfall screen or if it's just because I was running it enough but when you get to veteran it's real simple when you're at veteran make sure you click it select 43 when you first start so you're gonna run 43 you're gonna do the objective then a portal will open make sure you don't take the portal to come back home you want to go deeper you want to go deeper three times in total after you go deeper three times and you kill the boss three times basically you know one for each zone then when you come back, the 46 will open because you've done three. So 46, 43 to 46, basically. And you keep on doing that. And if you notice, the magic find productivity bonus and enemy level will scale up and up and up and up. And it will keep on going up until you hit, I guess, the last spot of content. Um, if you want to add a map into the device, you can simply put a map in and select where you want it to be. And then the next thing to do is... You can roll area modifiers. And this is actually one of the cooler parts in Wilson. I'm sad that there's so much bugged content because this one aspect is actually pretty neat. So basically, if you roll the area modifiers four times. Okay, I kind of fucked that up. Um, maybe if I restart, then everything will be fixed. So basically what I was going to say is if you roll the area modifier four times, it should give you the prompt to add primordial essence. So let me try that again. Welcome to the purple. Okay, so let's just do master here, roll area modifier. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to do like <clears throat> that. Let's pick another one. Enemies have max health. Pick another one. Okay, so when you get the option to lure untainted, note that if you lure the untainted, you cannot do it three times. It's only a one-time thing at that point. So you basically lure the untainted. And I think when you do this, all loot is, is given at the end of the run. So you pretty much don't pick up any loot. But it spawns a special secret boss. I'll just call him a secret boss. It's not really much of a boss. It's like some dude who comes to assassinate you. After you finish this, uh, you will get like a reward screen after you kill the boss. Like it will pop up with this, you know, the screen saying, congratulations, you got S rank plus plus. And you'll get like six items. Those items can roll, you know, up to legendary slash, you know, just rare. But they have unique or a chance at a unique affix on them. So, for example, it could have like 1% uh, damage per, you know, 100 unspent rage or uh, one additional ailment stack applied every hit. And that's kind of where like some unique theory crafting comes in. But unfortunately, I feel like the game in its state is just too much for me to theory craft because of the state of the bugs. Um, but... You know, it's got a foundation ready for itself to be played. They just really got to fix some of the stuff. But it was kind of fun. I'm not going to lie. I, I enjoyed myself for the time I played. So I hope that this video helps teach you guys a little bit about Endgame so you guys can get started. Um, you know, if you like the video, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash pox. I'm going to go check out Last Epoch next to go see what Last Epoch is going to be doing for some updates because they just recently implemented like a charm system. They call it idols. So pretty excited to see what they've done. Anyway, see you guys all tomorrow.